The state television campaign in Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Armena Gabrahamyan sent a telegram to Vladimir Putin regarding with the terrorists attacking Moscow. The seventh Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of Western Armenia. The monument of Getavan is the target of vandalism in Baku. Love, Patriotism and Unity. Arshak the second opera performance was on the stage of the Yerevan Opera House. Levon Aronian became the winner of the USA Cup. Support the television of Western Armenia. Armena Gabrahamyan expressed his condolence to the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, in regard with the terrorist attack in Moscow. He mentioned in his speech, Honorable Vladimir Vladimirovich, we are deeply saddened to learn about the terrorist attack at midnight took place at Crocus Hall in Moscow. Accept my sincere condolences. The Republic of Western Armenia strongly condemns any form of terrorism. The time has come to root out this great evil with joint and uncompromising actions. I am sure that everything possible will be executed to identify and bring to justice all the organizers of terrorism. Please pass on words of sympathy to the relatives and friends of the victims and we wish an immediate recovery to the injured. We sorrow with you and with all Russian citizens. The President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian. On March 23, the 7th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The session was chaired by the first President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian. The general condition of the Government of Western Armenia was discussed during the session. Armena Gabrahamian referred to the subject on the by handing over the villages of Tavush region of Eastern Armenia and expressed the position and strategy of Western Armenia on that issue. The members of the government during the session proposed draft which will be announced on the state television of Western Armenia in the near future. On March 23 took place the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. In her speech, she referred to the basic events of the week that took place in the Republic of Western Armenia and in the government of Western Armenia. The speaker mentioned in her speech that Stefan Margosyan, a citizen of the Republic of Western Armenia, the father of Ms. Lydia Margosyan, the president of the Republic of Western Armenia, died at the age of 91 after a long, long struggle against a serious illness. In occupied Artsakh in the Getavan village of the Martakyat region, Baku destroyed the memorial plaques fixed on the wall of the monument erected in memory of the Getavan freedom warriors who died for self-defense. The monument was officially opened in 2016. A Khajkar, which was destroyed too, was installed in the middle of the monument done by Varazda Tambarsumyan. It is worth mentioning that this is not the only similar work done by the master in Artsakh. Swords, crosses, or border crosses at the initiative of Varaz de Tambartumyan after the War of Liberation were began to be installed in the protection of zones of Artsakh show the borders and the symbolize the victory. Then they became widespread both in Artsakh and in Armenia. The International Court of Justice confirmed that the applicable laws in the occupied territories, including the provisions of protecting the cultural values, have acquired a status of international right, which means that they are enforced as a universal and inescapable rule and are binding all the states. It is important to note that targeting stone crosses is a particularly prohibited act in, and is considered a serious crime against humanity. Because the art of Armenian Hajkars, the symbolism and craftsmanship of Hajkars since 2010 has been included by UNESCO, accepted in the list of intangible cultural heritage in 2003 and is considered universal value. The culture of cross stone, means Hajkars, also has additional protection during and after the war. According to the Hague Convention on the Protection of Cultural Property in Armed Conflict additional to the Convention of 1954, and due to the principles of the Second Adopted Protocol in 1999, the entire culture of Hajkar has enhanced protection, and any harm done to it is, according to the protocol of point of the Article 15, is a serious violation, which as a military crime can be prosecuted in international courts. The events of opera Arshak II by Constantinople Armenian composer Tigran Chuhajan took place in the Kingdom of Armenia in 365. King Arshak II, victorious in the war, returns to the capital Armavir but faces riots in his own kingdom. The opera performance, which was never staged during the composer's lifetime, was first performed in the original Italian and was fully presented in Yerevan. The premiere of the performance took place on March 22 at the Alexander Spenderian National Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet. 
Ashak II loves his homeland, dreams of creating a united and strong Armenia, but he is cruel at the same time towards his father, brother, wife, and brother's fans. The character of Arshak II was created by Arman Arakelian. It is his first major role. Before the Arshak II opera, he performed in Carmen, Anush, and other performances as well. And he says that it is a great honor for him, and it is also very binding to be the first performer of Arshak II in this performance. The performance took place in a crowded hall. Among the audience, there were many representatives of the major generation and young people, and greeted the artist with excited and loud applause and bravo chants. Lebon Aronian, the former leader of the Armenian men's chess team, who now plays under the U.S. flag, became the winner of the Armenians' cup. Aronian competed with Ustiso in the Super Final of the Cup tournament held in St. Louis, USA. I am very happy to win the USA Cup. I am very tired, but I am happy. Thank you all for your support," wrote Aronian on his social media pages. Western Armenia Television, being loyal to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other context related to the history, present and future of the Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.